Hey, try answering these questions. Are you getting enough sleep? Probably not. But maybe the signs are right on your face. So joining us this morning, Dr. Uh, Alex Atai from Laser Clinique to talk a little bit more about sleep deprivation and how it affects your skin and then ways you can help. Dr. Atai, good morning and thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. You know, this resonates very um, well with us here in the morning show because we don't sleep very often. And <laughs> thank you, Javon, <laughs> ever. But over time, when you don't sleep, however many hours you're supposed to sleep at night, it does start showing on your face. Absolutely, and this has been a chronic problem for probably over a hundred million people in this country. A hundred million people have sleeping issues? Absolutely. I think the number one people that you should always look at are mothers. Mothers and, you know, to a smaller percentage, fathers. Mm. Once you have kids, the, I think sleep goes out the door. Yeah, and everything starts to, like, line and scrunch and sag in and, and more places than one, right? <laughs> there, there's factors at play that why that happens. I think the very first sign that you see is red eyes. Okay. Then you'll see some lines and wrinkles under the eyes. The eyes become deep set and you'll get some dark circles because of the veins that uh, surround the eyes. Okay. Are there other things besides the eyes that would show over time if you're not sleeping well 10, 15, 20 years later that would happen to your face? Believe it or not, we see pigmentation related issues and the reason is because the fact that you are not able to get the proper nutrients that you need while you're sleeping, mm -hmm. your skin is more susceptible to the, to the sun, and okay. as a result, you get some pigmentary tissue issues as well as sunken, swollen skin. Okay, so let's go through and talk some of the areas in the face, and then, but there are ways to fix this, right? Absolutely, okay. we, have, we have options. We have, <laughs> I love we have options. Okay, let's go to the first one. So you say that underneath the eyes is the big thing that a lot of people see. How do you fix this? Like this is a before and after? Yes, uh, not a great one, but what you can <laughs> see is a deep set eye, and, and uh, we can use dermal fillers to help fill in the crease in between. One of the products that we like to use is Restylane. Mm -hmm. And then we also use laser resurfacing to tighten. If you can look at the upper eyelid, because that's another sign. Oh, yeah, the little wrinkles above on the eyelid. Look at that. That's right. What happens is that you, you'll see heavier set eyes as a result of the lack of sleep. Okay, so then you were talking about this part, but then the pigmentation changes and the lines that start to form around your face from not being able to like rejuvenate whatever overnight. So we have some of the other things that you say that you can tighten your skin. So what's this? Oh wow, Dr. Tai. So this patient obviously maybe in her early 50s and you can see the signs of aging obviously occurring, not only around the eyes, but in the cheeks and in what we call the nasal labial fold, the crease between the nose and the corner of the mouth and the line that forms from the corner of the mouth down. Mm -hmm. So we used a skin tightening device by the name of All Therapy to tighten the skin. Okay. We use fractional laser resurfacing to get rid of the pigmentation and some of the hollowness that occurs. Okay. And then we use fillers to fill in the lines underneath as well as in the folds and Botox around the eyes okay. to help relax that muscle. We have another example of a before and after of um, you know sleep deprivation and the aging uh, that happens. I see, wow. This is only wow. 10 days post-treatment, so what we did on her was um, address the pigmentation change, the lines around the eyes. This is only going to get better within the three-month time frame, but we were just trying to show how quickly we can make that change on patients. Okay. So you could see the crease in, even in between the eyes. We use dermal fillers there, around the mouth, even in the lips. And then we use Botox to help relax the muscle contraction and then laser resurfacing techniques to improve the pigmentation and tightening. Okay, and we have one, uh, one more, again, uh, just showing a lot of the lines. Uh, and look at the bags under her eyes before. Sorry if she's watching right now and afterwards. <laughs> she's, she's a wonderful patient. Now you could see this is two and a half years post-treatment and it requires maintenance. And the main reason we're showing this picture is that we're talking about the same procedures, but this requires maintenance. Mm. And so the patient comes in every three to six months to add some volume, to replace that. You don't need surgical intervention if you kind of maintain that skin and integrity. Part of that maintaining is also getting sleep. Sleep is the most important factor that I know you guys all lack, as well as myself. As well yourself, because you have two little kids yeah, and you know how it that, goes. That's exactly it. Uh, well, Dr. Tai, thank you for being here. Really good information. If you want to get in touch with him and learn about any of the procedures, you can go to fox5sandiego.com and click the scene on tab. It'll get you hooked up with Dr. Tai. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Chrissy, do you see the bags? Look, look.
No, no, look at this one. Sholly, you are perfect. No, no, I'm telling you, you I are sleep beautiful. three hours a night. You I are, need a laser right you here. You need to sleep more than three hours a night. Are you serious, three hours a night? Lady, let's, we have kids. Let's, hey, let's talk in the commercial break, okay? Coming up, the random